This video is brought to you by our book, Brexit the Colouring Book. Relive the still contentious saga through our commentary and illustrations, all while colouring along, if that's something you're into. And if you use the code EUSUD, then you'll get a totally free EU pin badge added to your order. The link is down below. We've all heard about wacky lawsuits, be it the McDonald's coffee case where a woman successfully sued after spilling hot coffee, to the case where someone tried to sue a dry cleaners for inconvenience, mental anguish and attorney fees based on a satisfaction guaranteed sign, to the tune of $54 million. And while those are wild, it doesn't compare to suing yourself, but surely that's not possible. Well, that's exactly what the EU are doing. Okay, maybe not exactly, but in this video, we're going to unpack what the EU's up to and why the EU is suing itself. Last Friday, the European Parliament formally submitted a lawsuit against the European Commission to the Court of Justice. To break that down, the legislature, the bit that Europeans elect, took the executive, the Commission, headed up by Ursula von der Leyen, to court specifically to the EU's own judiciary. To properly explain why though, we need to turn the clock back to December 2020. Back in December, the EU, after much wrangling and upset from Poland and Hungary, passed Regulation 2020-2092, known more commonly as the Conditionality Regulation. This regulation provides for, as the name suggests, the imposition of certain conditions on the money that the EU gives out to member states, specifically allowing money to be withheld for any countries breaching the rule of law. These regulations were widely seen as directly targeting Poland and Hungary. Back in 2016, the European Commission took the unprecedented step of activating its rule of law framework also known as pre-Article 7 procedure, Article 7 being the so-called nuclear option. While the framework saw daily fines being applied, as well as the suspension of a number of judicial reforms by the European Court of Justice, none of that actually seemed to change Poland's behaviour. And while Article 7 does provide for the suspension of a number of key rights, to actually get to that point requires unanimity from the remaining member states, which is where Hungary comes in. Back in 2018, the European Parliament voted to trigger the nuclear option against Hungary over breaches of judicial independence and increased control over the media, with both Poland and Hungary facing Article 7 proceedings, a pact developed. Hungary would veto proceedings against Poland, and vice versa, leading to a stalemate, hence the need for new regulation, which crucially doesn't require unanimity from the countries. Under the terms of this new regulation, any country breaching the principles of the rule of law, say by endangering the independence of the judiciary, is to have appropriate measures taken against them, i.e. the suspension of EU payments. Crucially for this lawsuit, it's down to the European Commission to actually activate the conditionality mechanism, which then provokes a vote by the European Council. In any case though, the Commission has refused to activate the mechanism. As early as May of this year, the European Parliament asked the European Commission to use the mechanism, also known as the Rule of Law Mechanism. At the time, Johannes Hahn, the Commissioner for Budget and Administration, stressed that work on the guidelines for the new mechanism needs to be completed before it is used. But by May, the European Parliament had had enough passing a resolution that called on the Commission to activate the mechanism in light of ongoing, severe violations of the principles of the rule of law in some member states, while also highlighting that the Parliament was to start making the necessary preparation for potential court proceedings if the Commission did not activate the mechanism ASAP. Under Article 265 of the Treaty of the Functioning of the European Union, as soon as one branch of the EU calls on another to apply treaty law, a two-month countdown starts. If, after two months, the relevant party, in this case the European Commission, has failed to act in accordance with treaty law, all other institutions of the EU may bring an action before the Court of Justice of the European Union. And, you guessed it, the Commission did not activate the mechanism in time. In reality, it still hasn't, in spite of the fact that both Poland and Hungary were called out by name in a rule of law report compiled by the Commission in July. 
In a letter to the President of the European Parliament in late August, the Commission President, Ursula von der Leyen, replied that for the legal resort under Article 265 to actually be available, the institution, i.e. the European Parliament, must be sufficiently clear and precise in its request. The Commission considered, in light of case law, that the European Parliament's request to act was not sufficiently clear and precise, citing the lack of any such case in concrete terms. With that in mind, the Commission considered the EP's request, in effect, null and void. Not all of this is, to be fair, the Commission's fault. Back in December 2020, when the regulations were first being discussed, the European Council agreed that should an action for annulment be introduced with regard to the regulations, the guidelines on application will be finalised before the judgment. Until such guidelines are finalised, the Commission will not propose measures under the regulation. And, as can be expected, both Hungary and Poland put forward a challenge to the regulation meaning that based on the Council's decision, the Commission could not propose measures under said regulation, until and unless the Court has ruled on whether the mechanism itself was legal, and under what circumstances using it would be A-OK. However, the Court of Justice of the European Union took until early October to even begin considering the case put forward by both Hungary and Poland. And while the court is considering the case under an accelerated procedure, it could be some time before any ruling is published. The European Parliament are having none of it though, formally submitting the lawsuit against the European Commission last Friday, over a failure to activate the measure. Given its untested waters for both the Parliament and Commission, it's unclear what might happen if the case does eventually get heard. But what do you think? Who's in the right in all of this? The Commission or the Parliament? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, like I said at the start, you can get a free EU with Shoes pin badge with your copy of Brexit the Colouring Book if you use code EUSUED. That's right, 25 illustrations and colouring opportunities as well as a completely free pin badge. What more could you want? The link to the store is down below, and by purchasing, you're supporting the channel. Thanks so much. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we release a new video. Special thanks to our Patreon backers who make videos like this one possible. And if you want to see your name at the end of videos, then you too can back us on Patreon. The link to that is in the description.